All right, dear people, uh, let's uh, try to finish up here. Uh, I'd like to welcome you back on the part two. So let's continue. We've just uh, fin uh, gotten point one and point five since they're in the same line. So go back to what to your left view again so that you get point zero now. Place your compass there by your apex point of your left view. Further extend it to point zero. There it is, isn't it? Now, without shifting or disturbing it, you come to your development site, you place it there at your apex, then you mark right there and you mark right there so which means this point is going to be point zero zero in the same line with what with point six you understand now join them join them faint like this there you go and like this you go now there by your development place your compass 8.0 further extend it to point 1 there you go then you strike an arc or you have a small faint cycle like this one like this then you can replace it at six again remember that what we are doing it's a full development eh? of that conical then pre then there you go so now we supposed to get what a point along the line of a apex point which is I mean not a uh, zero apex point and six apex point there, there is a point right there so that point is which one zero is that one so you place your compass which was there by your front if i can trace it right from your from your left view uh, sorry front view which is that one in line with what with six that goes that goes which means this is the point that you're supposed to take you understand so now apex point to that point this one eh? now you come to your development you place it at your apex point there of your development then I mark there I mark there so I've got a point there I've got a point right there <coughs> So now we have to get point uh, 11. Because we just remember this is what we're busy with, isn't it? So the following is what is point 11. You place your compass there, further extend it to point 11. Do it. There you go. There is your point 11. Eh? So now, without you disturbing your compass, you come apex point of your development. There you go. Like this, you go. Airborne. so there is my point 11 this one is going to be my point 7 point 11 and point 7 now take your 30 millimeter ruler there you go like this you go so now to get the point there which is which one now remember that there by your left view we we just took this point which is this one so now this one is in the same line it's up actually right there so place your drawing compass at your apex point of your left view there you go further excellent to that point so like this you go now without it disturbing it you come to your development apex point there you go here you go then make them visible there it is there it is so the next step place your compass at point 11 further extended to point zero faint there you go faint eh? and you come and place it at seven to six Faint, there you go. 
faint. There you go. Now where are we? You go back to your left view. Remember, we, we just took this one. Now you are going to take point. Both, uh, we are descending. 11, 10. Eh? Place your compass at point. Apex point of your left hand side. Further extended to point 10. There you go. Uh, be accurate. This is it. Now you come to your apex point of your development. Place it. Then you get an arc there. Get an arc there along your cycle. <coughs> so now this is going to be your point 10 and point 8. This is 7, 6, 7, 8. Eh? And there you go. Like this we go. And like this we go. Now you place your compass at point 10, further extended to point 11. There we go. And eight to seven. Like this we go. Right, let's also get a point along the 10 to apex point and along the 8 to apex point. Eh? So, which is a 10 is this one. This point that we just got is this one. It's in the same line with the what? With the point 11. So, place your compass at your apex point, further extend it till point 10. So, there you go. So, now without disturbing it, you come to your development, development side, place it right there, you mark here and you mark there. So there is the point that I just got. You understand? So now to get the point nine, which is the last one, the last one, pay attention very well. Remember this is 0, 11, 10, 9 is right there. Remember, 9 is that one, isn't it? That one is, 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 is still the same as this one. So you place your compass at your apex point, further extended to point 0.9, which is this one. Point 0.9. So point 0.9 is in the same line with point X. X, X. Remember, X, X is your joint. That's where they are cutting it, isn't it? So... Point 0.9 is in the same line with what point x of the bottom part. So now you come, place your it there by your apex point of your development. There you go. There you go. So I've got point 0.9 and point 0.9. So now we can have this faint and have this one faint you understand so the very last point which is the x one <clears throat> remember that you must get a point somewhere there somewhere there so you place your compass at the, your development uh, i mean at your apex point of your left view there you go further extended to the other x isn't it which is this one so there you go so now, without disturbing it, you come, place it to your apex point. Mark there, and here. So, I've got a last point there, I've got a last point there. Hey, one. So now, without fear or favor, we can say our development is com So now we can use a flex curve or freehand, like Mina, I don't have a flex curve. I'll, I'll use my free hand to join this point. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Solid now. Like this. You understand? So up there. So this point, they must be plotted. There you go. Understand? So now you can have this one. 
solid and your x x is right there solid your x x is right there so these points they must be 12 if i can say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 back to 0 so they are 12 so we can say uh, we are through then remember we started here by getting the line of penetration we cannot get the, the what the development without the line of penetration you understand so we we used the the intersection points of our auxiliary of the left with the auxiliary of the front uh, so that we get the what the interpenetration you understand so this is it this is it so thank you very much that was mr ngosi see you on the next video uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe so that more videos will be uploaded don't forget to subscribe and support the channel bye danki